Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about add-ons and more specifically classic WoW add-ons. And in this video we're going to check out five different sources for add-ons for classic WoW and also the different ways to install them into your game. So, let's just jump straight in and this video is probably a little bit too late now. Uh, it's, Classic's been out for a couple weeks now, but if you guys are still struggling then yeah, here's a couple methods. So. Let's just jump straight in with the first one being the Twitch app, uh, also uh, CurseForge, which is kind of uh, interlinked there. So the Twitch app is really, really good. I use it for retail uh, and they've now recently upgraded it for classic. So I'm going to just show you real quick how to find and install add-ons through that. And personally, for me, this is the best method because you have the ability to update them pretty seamlessly. So you get the Twitch app, you log in, uh, twitch.tv slash MrGM, by the way, I stream every single day. Uh, click the mods icon, click the World of Warcraft out icon, and what will happen is it will find your WoW. And if it hasn't found World of Warcraft, you can scan for games and it will eventually find it. As you can see here, it's automatically found retail. So you switch it over to Classic, you can see all the add-ons that need an update. Uh, you can very easily update all, so you can just update them and they'll uh, update the add-ons for you, which is really, really great. And what it does is this Get More Add-on section uh, changes to add-ons which are compatible with 113, which is the Classic WoW files. So these add-ons here are compatible with Classic WoW and Classic WoW only. You can see like Questy, Weekors, Bagon, Recount, all the all the old add-ons, Atlas Loot Classic, and then you'll have new releases as well. When uh, say say for example Titan Panel Classic, for example, has just had an update, that will come on the new releases list. And then you can just look at the see all list for the popular list, and this will have all of the add-ons listed right here. And as I said, this is pretty damn good. You can just install it from one button. Go to the My Add-ons list and your add-ons will be there and you can just update them uh, pretty easily from just clicking Update All. For me personally, that's my favorite way of adding add-ons to Classic WoW. However, there are some add-ons which aren't on Curse and there's a couple of websites which I'm going to show you right now and how to install add-ons the manual way or the old school way. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump into that part right now. So I see a lot of the time a lot of people in different stream chats saying, oh, where did you get your add-ons? Where did you get your add-ons? Uh, this, so this is one of the websites. There's four websites we're going to show you today. Uh, this is Will It Classic. And this is a cool website. So essentially, it has all the add-ons here. And some of them actually from uh, Vanilla WoW, which is actually really nice to see. So what you'll see is, for example, let's go to Wide Quest Log. So we click on Wide Quest Log, and it will give you a CurseForge link. So if there's a CurseForge link, Essentially, that means it is on the Twitch app as well, so you can go and find that on the Twitch app. It'll also give you a GitHub link, a link to WoW Interface, and their official website if that is available. And when you click that, that'll redirect you to that website, and essentially you'll be able to download the add-on from there. And that's what I like about this website. It has all the different ways to download it, and if you do like downloading add-ons straight from the GitHub, which is obviously going to be one of the, the fastest ways to get the updates for these add-ons, uh, Willit Classic is definitely a good option for that. Another one I see quite a lot is Warcraft Tavern. And this is essentially the same. This just has a long list of add-ons, sometimes add-ons which aren't featured on Curse, like the Bejeweled Classic, which I've just noticed. I'm definitely going to download that. Holy moly. Uh, but yeah, so essentially you can do that, and what you can do is manually download them. Now, for manually downloading add-ons, this is what you have to do. So you download it. It comes up as a zip file. Now this zip file can be extracted, sometimes it's a RAR file as well, I use WinRAR, that's kind of how I've done it over the years and years of World of Warcraft. You essentially just extract the files, find your classic WoW folder which is inside the World of Warcraft folder, go to Interface, Add-ons, and then copy and paste it into this folder. Now the most important thing to remember is to make sure that when you click the add-on, it goes straight into this kind of file and not into a folder which has the same name. Because it if it goes into a folder with the same name, essentially it won't work because the game will be looking for these LUA files uh, in the folder, essentially the first folder that it looks into. So when you extract it, uh, essentially sometimes it just kind of makes two folders. Just make sure you're copying over the correct folder. So the next website is WoW Interface. This website's been around since the dawn of time. Again, same uh, kind of system as the other one. Just install it manually. Uh, you click on the add-on, you do install, uh, you do download, and it's the same process once again. 
Now this is the final website I'm going to show you, not to say there isn't any other websites, I'm not actually aware of any others, but if you do know any, do let me know in the comment section below, but this is Legacy WoW, and this is a well-known uh, private server and vanilla, you know, Burning Crusade, Wrath Lich King add-ons website, which is now featuring Classic WoW add-ons, which is really, really good. So essentially, same sort of system, you know, Questy Classic, go over to here, press download. Now one thing to remember about Classic WoW is that vanilla WoW add-ons, add-ons for 1.12 will not work in 1.13. The, now the API that Classic WoW currently uses is the 8.1 API, so essentially a lot of add-ons need to be remade and kind of fiddled around with to make work in Classic WoW. So as I said, add-ons specifically for Classic will work, but add-ons for vanilla WoW 1.12 will not work in Classic WoW, and that is important to remember that 113 is the build number for Classic WoW. So that's pretty much it guys, just a short video letting you know a couple resources for add-ons and a quick little guide on how to install them. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, do let me know down below if there's any other websites that you know, if there's any more information that you feel like I missed out in this video. I could also do a video on my full add-on list if you want to see a video like that. I don't really run too many add-ons, but I run a lot of like nice uh, minor quality of life things, things like vendor price or like a questy add-on or a cast bar add-on, things like that. So if you want to see a full video of my add-ons, do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. As I mentioned, every single day, leveling a classic very, very slowly. But we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Classic WoW's out. Twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.